Yo guys, welcome. I'm TC Smith from Bat De Hair, and today I'm joined with a very special guest who's going to help me do this podcast type of video. Welcome up, you all love him. He's almost on 1,000 subscribers already, and he's an amazing edit and an amazing guy. Welcome, Joshua Johnson. Boo! Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, well, hello, 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 hello. Nice to talk to you again. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to discuss today then? Um? Well, I was going to talk about someone who you mentioned to him, and I'm pretty sure maybe in a video as well, you mentioned about him having a fig fight in his comment. Oh yes, I now remember. Is his name uh, Marcus? Yes it is. And what was it he did afterwards? He deleted his video. He deleted the video, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, oh, he's doing a Chris. He is doing a Chris, who we'll get on to later. <coughs> Pussy. <coughs> Pussy. <coughs> so first we're going to probably start with something we just saw when we were editing a video. We saw it and it, we burst out laughing. What the fuck's his haircut? <laughs> <laughs> like, if we show up on the screen now, like, what the fuck is that? Like, seriously, what is that? It's so shit. You're not a gangster, you're not a rapper, you're a... Posh little gay cunt. And that's the, coming from me. And, and I'll admit, and the fact that you went on Antti's channel and said, like, after that date I apparently had, after that little date last year, right, apparently I had pizza and all that. Actually, I... Oh, shit. Here we go again. I didn't. I'll tell you what happened, Marcus. I went out of the theatre. I went into Mark... <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> I went into Mark Spencer's, got myself a nice tropical orange drink, and went home. That's all I did. So you're a fucking liar. Back to you. Well, first he realised the guilt. Freaked. <coughs> I was. Oh, but no. <laughs> but enough about that. Hell. <coughs> um. Anyway, we're actually talking about Marcus now. There is something potentially more cringy than his hair. His YouTube channel. Oh. Let's put it on screen. 39 subscribers, as you can see. Like, like what, what is that? Like, seriously. I'm... Hands up if you think he paid for those subs. Sorry, Marcus. Your videos just aren't that good enough, and you haven't had that many out to have 39 subs. It's just fact at this point. But... It looks really weird when there was that little girl on it. Was it on her, one of his videos? Yeah. I, 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 it's, I'm guessing it's someone related to you. But at first, it was like, she looks like seven. And the second, it looked like he was starting playing Sweet Home Alabama again. I, it's just... Sweet Home Alabama! <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> but what are your videos, man? Some of them are well edited, but those are the ones which, what's his name, Stroppy Game is in. Your best videos is with someone else doing them for you, and I agree, mine are too, but at least mine still aren't crap on their own. Mm. They're not as good as when Josh helps, but they're a lot better when they're on their own. Like, I mean, at the moment, guys, if you don't know already, I'm actually uploading a video of Anthony's onto my hard drive, so you'll be seeing that in the next video, but you'll be, you'll be seeing, well, actually no. You'll be seeing the video I'm editing now previous, and then this one will be after. Literally, like, we're filming it straight after, while it's being uploaded. Yeah, it's literally on my laptop now. Like, I don't think I can show it yet, but, like, you know, it's quite funny, a video, actually. It, it is. It's, it's got some funny things in there. Just bear with me, because I do babble on a bit in the video. But I babble on a lot, don't I? <laughs> yeah, Just in yeah. life. Um, but, Marcus, we literally, the first video we saw today, when we went on your channel... Was of you whispering about a McDonald's winning thing, and we? I originally thought by the title you'd won something from McDonald's. But here's the, here's the thing, Marcus. You can't just do McDonald's giveaways. I mean, McDonald's like, who does a giveaway on McDonald's? Maybe like, oh yeah, you won like fifty pounds or twenty five pounds. McDonald's. What are you gonna do? Buy a fucking Big Mac meal for fiver. Like, get a life! Cheap man. Cheap ass. Shut up! Shut up! Also, 
Are you that desperate for a date you pay <laughs> to give away? Oof. That's why the girl won. A girl won. If it was a guy, it probably still would be a Boy. date for you. But you know. Just do something fun for a giveaway. Or have the giveaway of letting someone punch you. I would try and get entered for that. I would be I would be pleased to do that to be honest. But we all know you'd uh no but knock you out. He's honestly the one thing I don't get about you, Marcus. We only talked me and Auntie talked to you in what was it, Halloween time wasn't it? Yeah, we yeah. met up with him, it was quite nice actually. And I did not talk to you until you started beefing with us in like what was it, March time or yeah. April time? And you literally like Called up on Auntie's phone like, oh, you trying to chat shit with me? I did not even even mention you to Auntie or anybody, and you still did that. Like I didn't not do anything, so I don't know why you've been so paranoid for. But you know, it's just how it goes to be honest with him. Just for the record, we don't hate Marcus. We get along with him quite nice. It's just his videos just make us <coughs> piss Sarcasm. ourselves with last laughter, and we absolutely love it when he tries to be with us. We'd rather he didn't, but it is funny for us. Yeah. But we don't actually love him. But we get along with him. I, I quite like him sometimes. But he can be... Just... Yeah. Bit of a dickhead, to be honest, yeah. in his own words, to be honest. So, so can Josh, though. Hey, watch it, you. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But ju just... Guys, check out his videos and you'll see what we mean. Some of them are decently edited. But they're normally filmed by Stroppy Gamer, who is terrible camera shit, like cameramanship. He just like and on a minute, and on a minute. If I put that um vid music video that was a chicken thing, wouldn't it? Remember that music video? You put a chicken. I put it up on the screen now. Boy, hey, okay. Chill on the strong game, quick podcast. Hop off, chill with the boys for a laugh. Looking now, they can't see where it's at, man. Look at this, like what you. So that, so that chicken music video thing, like, I don't know what he was playing at. I know for a fact, though, he was using iMovie, and I know for a fact that you can talk through there and speak it on the mic. And it was just so muffled, like, I like my chicken, I like this, I like that. And I'm, like, singing, just, it only got 300 views. I mean, like, you shouldn't even get that product. You shouldn't only get 50. And to be honest, like... It's just rubbish. I probably can even do better than that, to be honest. Oh! I probably could do better than that. It's a challenge. It always marks. I could do better than that, to be honest, since we're my editing right here and everything. I could get a mic. I could do better editing. I've got other people who can actually like help me with it. I've got a couple of people who can music produce and stuff like that. So yeah, I bet you don't have anyone, Stroppy Gamer or Marcus, who has not got a music producer. End of. Back to you, Anthony. Also, on this thing, sorry, why does stra uh, Stroppy... 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 <laughs> stroppy... <laughs> stroppy <laughs> <laughs> why does Stroppy Gamer remind me of Deji's cameraman? <laughs> Randolph. <laughs> Randolph. <laughs> Randolph. Shut up. Shut up. No, that's case. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, wait, I'm trying to think of the song. There's Dax, there's... Uh, it's Dax. It's Dax. You got the other one in the diss track. Jallo? Jallo, that's it. Jallo. You remind me of him, man. Why? I don't know why. Sorry, it's been when Josh was talking about that then. I just was thinking, why did he remind me of Deji's cameraman? Now he's your cameraman, and he has more subs than you. Also, the, we were originally were talking about the video you deleted. Why delete that video? While it was a clearly a fake fight, I commented it was a fake fight, and you just got proper pissed off at me, mm -hmm. and then... Alright, Auntie, Auntie, one more thing. I'm going to go now, so I'll leave you to it to speak to the camera, and then we, I'll come back to talk about Marshy and all those lot that we're going to get into in a bit. So, so, Marcus, really, why delete that? Are you a wimp? Is it, like, you did the same thing Marshy did. This is what I, this is what you even had to, like, was confused with Marshy did. You? Deleted a video because someone commented. Anyway, this is enough about Marcus because we could spend all day talking about how cringy it is. So, we'll get to you with the next section now. Hello, welcome back guys to some more Back to Hair. I'm, well, your co-host, Joshua Johnson. Now, me and Anthony have had a bit of beef with someone called Chris Marsh. Now, as you know, um, Chris Marsh is one of those type of weirdos and all that. But yeah, I'm joined 
with my co, well, my host actually of Anthony Smith. Uh, he's going to give some insight of what's happened with Marshy in the past and stuff like that. So in comes Anthony. <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. Give me a minute. Hello, oh, hey guys. Where's, where's Josh? Hello. Yeah, I guess I'll sit down and start talking since he's lazy. Probably sleeping. Oi! Where the f- Where were you? I don't know. I was here for you. Bullshit! You weren't even here! Oh, sorry about it. Sorry about it, guys. You've got to click, you've got to click the like button now for this. Go click it. Right, now, what will we getting into? Because it's juicy gossip. <laughs> Don't <wanna> drop that. <laughs> we All right. Christopher Marsh. Oh, Marsh. We shouldn't say his first name. Christopher. Christopher <clears throat> Marsh. He had beef with me before. And it's still, lots of people are still confused with where did the beef come from. The beef came from... I was meant to fight Rowie, right? Because originally I was meant to fight this big old sod yeah. over here. Oh, cool, put him on. No. <laughs> um, but then I was meant to fight Rowie. Then for some reason, which I was really surprised by, Rowie stopped. He just like disappeared off the face of the earth. He actually disappeared completely. Um, he's been kidnapped. I'm joking. That's not true. <laughs> Don't get worried. So, the reason why we're here is this: we think, as we've just seen now, and we looked it up, we think Marshy has deleted his channel once again. Now, when I say once again, he means he's done it not only once but twice now. He did it once. When was it? Like a year? No, it was like. Four months ago? Yeah, a few months ago. A few months ago, right. And he said, I'll be uploading back in June and stuff like that. So we waited. He uploaded in June. Now, we've we talked about him and stuff like that. And, you know, we probably hate him and he hates us, obviously. But now, we've looked on his... We tried to look him up and he has literally, like, disappeared again. And we can't find him. And it's not my fault, Paul, this time. And it's not mine either, so, no, we can't say anything. What it was, though, right, we're going to talk about this time now, right, and then we'll get on to the past in just a moment. But with this time, we were only checking it up, because we weren't originally going to talk about him. We were going to talk about other people, but we just wanted to see what type of videos he was doing, because we were intrigued, because he said he has a lot of things planned and had lots of things to do. His channel can't be found, therefore he has no videos either. And I want to know why, because it wasn't me this time, even though he shouldn't have deleted it the first time, he was just being a little bitch. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> I mean, personal reasons, according, about me and Josh, don't know if that makes sense, but... So, and I'll, let me, when he, when he mentions personal reasons about me and Anthony, he, basically, he was saying to us, he was going to call the police, because we were harassing him. Now... The biggest flaw of all time, Anthony, tell the audience what he was going to do. Well, he was going to call the cops, right? Because we were harassment. Because in one of his videos, we just made a comment. And it wasn't even that bad of a comment. I'm pretty sure I pointed out that he spoke about me first, which is why I made a video on him in the first place. And Josh just was being Josh and did nothing too bad either. I'm pretty sure I was on holiday. I don't think this was even a few months ago. Yeah. This was like um, Easter time. Cause yeah. I, was, I just went on holiday then. And, and the fact that he wants to call the police for harassment, right? There's one big design flaw that he's done. He's deleted his channel, which means we can't see the comments. And if he screenshotted them, he'd probably delete them by now, to be honest. Let's, let's be honest. Two, yes, we direct message him on Instagram. But there's one problem, he's blocked both of us and we've blocked him, so he can't even add us back, and even if he did write, he, the, the message will be all deleted, so, you know, Marshy, if you listen to this, or, what's his girlfriend's name? Jessica. I like Jess Jessica, she's a Jessica. nice girl, I don't want to drag her we're into not, this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna drag her into this, she's we're a lovely girl. Surname. we're not gonna do anything and about Chris her. Chris isn't that bad, it's just he has these weird moments like this, and it's just kind of annoying and... 
flabbergasted. We're not going to go and crush this video, we're just confused by him. Yeah. But what I do want to say is, if you're wondering how all this beef started, when I was due to fight Rowie, uh, Chris said, if Rowie backs out, he wouldn't mind having a boxing match with me. And I agreed, because I'm like, fair enough, I have some a backup. Rowie backed out, and Chris did, and, I was just, and Chris started denying it. That's what got me annoyed. If Chris just said, look, honestly, I don't want to fight you, I know you're going to win, or something like that. I had a valid reason, fair enough. But it's the fact that he started to deny it, and then make a video on me, and then get annoyed when I made a video about him. And now the fact that Anthony's made a video and he got annoyed, he deleted his channel, and what was he saying? He's saying he didn't want to be, where did he want to be? On this world anymore? Or something yeah, like yeah, yeah, I'm, but now, but now this is... guys like us. But, yeah, but us. now I, the reason why he said that on his, what was it, about page, yeah. The reason why I said that is just because Anthony here called him out for a boxing match, even though he, Marshy, agreed to that, and he was getting all the depressed stage, and like, I'm thinking, Marshy, if you don't want to box, just say you're out. You don't need to make all this stuff like, are you killing my channel? Oh, boo-hoo, all this and that. Or it's going to stop you getting in the army, like... It's not going to stop boxing, Marshy, if you're going to listen to this right. Boxing is not going to stop you getting to the army. They do boxing in the army. They do? They have guns in the army? They kill people in they the army. Yeah, they do. So what's your point? Like, if you box, you're not going to go, Oh, yeah, you do boxing, do you? Yeah, that's it, you're out. No! They probably might actually give it, like, an extra credit. Yeah, they'll probably give you... That'll be a benefit to you if you do boxing, they see it. If you win, like, a boxing fight against Anthony... But you're not going to. Yeah, and, uh, yeah but I'm just saying, if that happens... It'd be a benefit. It would be. Um, but like, all the videos, you may think I'm disagreeing and all the videos were about him not doing it. I was annoyed about him not doing it because he said he would. But as I said, it was all this, oh, I won't be able to join the army. Oh, this is all ruining this my all life. All this malarkey, yeah. All this malarkey. Or it's illegal. Boxing is not illegal. Otherwise, Anthony Joshua would be in prison and not famous. If boxing is only illegal if it's like not an event, if it's not an event, it's just fist fighting. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, because um, that's a street fight. Was it not... Ass assaulting, assaulting? Yeah, assault. assault. Yeah. If you, as Anthony would say, if you did it like an event, which he was going which to was do, the it, plan. which was obviously planned to do, it, it'd be fine. A marshy, like I don't get what's going on in your head. It's not illegal. And I get having personal time, and I get being depressed. We have both been depressed. Yeah. I've been depressed. For the minimum of what now? 10, 11, 12 years? And I'm 19, I'm not even 20, so I've already been depressed for over half my life. I get it. Trust me. But to blame me and Josh is just wrong. It is stupid. That is, that is wrong, yeah. And it's not going to help you either. If you want to help your depression, you need to look at what's causing you to be depressed. I mean, I mean like, me and Anthony, right, we literally made one comment and you can get depressed like that. If it was full on bullying, like, for ages on end with me and Anthony, I would get that. But one comment between us two, and you're depressed already. I, I don't get what's wrong with you. If you're that depressed, go and see a therapist. But just don't blame it on us two, because we're not going to be having our blood on our hands. Blaming it on us is going to make you feel worse, not better. That's true, yeah. That's it, you need to get to the root of it, which is why I do recommend seeing a therapist it will work. It, it's not all work. I've been to multiple therapists over the years, and I finally found a few that are actually starting to help me, and it's going great. You know, hence the change. And time off. I had time off. I even went to visit some monks. Um, what? Yeah, there was some. Sh you know those Shaolin monks, the people who go. In there? <laughs> yeah. Um, in my time, I like. I literally had time off all social media, pretty much, or very limited time, because oh, yeah. I was seeing them and. It, I, I had, did have to leave early because I had to go on holiday and I have to get ready for uni, otherwise I'd still be there now. But just a few time with them has improved me so much. So if you're really that desperate, go see them as well. But just don't blame it on us. We get back and out of a fight and all that. Just don't. It's just stupid. Also, Chris also really doesn't like me. If you're wondering why the whole beef between him and the reason he wanted to box me was, the first time it's because when he was with his ex and my to be honest, time, side note, I don't care about my ex anymore. No. Actually, no, I had two exes 
The one I can name, which is Lauren. The other one I can't because, you know, due to reasons. <coughs> Never mind. <coughs> Sophie Lawrence! <coughs> 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 I said it, sorry, Sophie Lawrence. There we go, sorry. I, I, that's about my mouth, but yeah. Lauren, what was his name? Rich, Richards? Richards, oh. Richards? Yeah, Lauren Richards, yeah. And Sophie Lawrence. Now, Sophie Lawrence, how, how would I describe it? Is she a little bitch? Yeah, like that, so. What's the hole? She, she literally made my mind like go in, out, in, uh, da, 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 da. The she was like, so here's how here's how this went, right? So she told me, right? Oh yeah, Josh, we can we let's meet up soon. So I thought, okay, fine. Where we meet? I she told me Newport. So I thought, okay, could this actually could literally happen, right? So I got my bags, not my bag. I got my backpack. I went. I got the bus. I went over there. I waited two hours, right, for her, and just sat in the restaurant, right, for two hours. I called her up, and she went, oh sorry, change of plan. Literally, I, I, I messaged it like about 10 times, I literally sent a load of messages, a load of calls, no answer, nothing, and then she said that and I thought, why? Like, but that is not all guys, that is not all, but yeah. We'll like, get into that some other time. Yeah, well actually no, we'll get into that in this video, but we'll Later on, like later on. Later but on. also, about that, normally, because I live in Newport, as you all know, well, kind of know, Josh would normally if he got stood up for that long, probably come over, see I me mean, for a bit. Yeah. But I was busy that day myself, so he couldn't, which made it even more worse for him. But we're gonna get back to Chris anyway. Chris dated Lauren, but while he was dating Lauren, he fancied Emily and Sam, right? Two girls who Josh's both had beef with. I've. Now there was in that. Wait, what was what it? Did you say Emily and Sam? Now we're getting into it. Now, someone calls Sam, which I'm not going to say the full name of, just put it as Sam. It is a girl, it's not a boy, it's just Sam, okay? Now, we had beef with him, when was it? Oh, August last year, some other? Before August, it was before, just before I got August, just yeah. Before, no, it was around about, just started, just before I just before, started dating yeah, Holly and after. Yeah. So, we, so, Sam, like, we had like a bit of beef with Sam, I didn't know about this stuff and all that. I may have took her too far. I tried to say sorry, then she told me a can of potato. Oh so ah, shit. Here we go again. So I said, oh, you're going to call me that, are you? So I literally got on the bus. I went all the way down to Newport. And I was walking up with Auntie, and we just had a massive thing. And then I walked off after like, what was it, five, ten minutes? Yeah. Stuff like that, because I couldn't be out. But then, now I'm gonna get in a bit more detail with uh, Kieran later. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna this. We got our whole topic later. We're gonna do, and it is some salty spicy. <laughs> Honestly, stuff. you're gonna you're gonna absolutely love it. After this video, but by the time you see, it, I've already edited it and all that. So be out. When will it be? Like Tuesday? Probably between Monday and Wednesday, I'd say. Yeah, but by the time by the time you see, it, it'll be already out. So you know, there we go. So we had this argument. Um, and Sam just kept blowing in his face and he kept like smoking. I told him, I told this son of a bitch not to stop, like not to like smile or laugh. But he kept doing it. I and do I, and I, I, just it thought, I just thought, I just thought, he's gonna stop. The, reason, the main reason I was laughing is I know this is gonna sound like really weird. But she looked incredibly cute when she was <laughs> angry. I'm sorry, but she was so cute and so nice. But she looked incredibly cute when she was angry. And I was smiling because of that. And then I realized, oh shit, everyone else is getting angry for me smiling. So I started to laugh, which made things a whole lot worse. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> but nobody knew I was finding it incredibly cute. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, also, so one quick little thing. I am so sorry, Sam. I know I kind of hurt. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Sorry. You got me fucking throttled. Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck off. Sorry, I'm on the pavement. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry for my little shit car. I'm so sorry <laughs> that I'm alive and a bender. Just fuck off. Hit you a lot back then, and I'm sorry. And for me as well. But yeah, we we did have this kind of thing. When was it? Or oh, Halloween? Yeah. So me and Auntie went out Halloween after like I think it was like two months after the beef and stuff like that. And we kind of bumped into Sam and her boyfriend, which was the most awkward thing of all time. And say, I will let you do the rest. Well, we bumped into her, and Sam, no, Sam, Josh originally just wanted to walk away. That's true. 
But like, I kind of, I think I just started roughly talking to Sam again at that point, and I just wanted to say hi and kind of apologise. And the whole time, her boyfriend was stood away, staring, looking grumpy, and and, not at, and at me as well. You, you, you stared at me as well, and I was, I was like, oh shit, here we like, go again. I can understand why he does that because she's probably told it from her perspective and not our perspective. Yeah, our perspective was more better than her perspective. Her perspective was like, oh, I did it, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fair, because we did be rude, but when yeah, people are emotional, they blow things out of proportion. I do true, it, yeah. Josh does it, we all do, do it, yeah, like, it, it is a fact. And I'm not the guy who's going to mainly lie about something, I will probably tell you the truth, even if I look like yeah. a complete... I'm going to leave you to one. this, and I'm going to go somewhere else, so I'll leave it to you. He's got to quickly go do something, so we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get quickly get back to... Alright, so me, meantime, we were talking, and it was fine, but it was super awkward. Gave her a hug, walked off, then she stopped talking to me and I really wanted to just kind of see her in person and talk to her properly. But we're going to get back to Chris. Chris liked Sam and Emily and each time he fancied them he was dating someone. I, at that time, was, just broke up with my then girlfriend, but he was trying to cheat on his girlfriend with one of those two and each one he went for I ended up getting to first and it wasn't because I was trying to be a dick, it's just I liked them too. And to be honest, I think Sam is probably one of the best people I've ever let go. And Emily's a nice person and I kind of was a complete utter twat to her too, so sorry to all you guys. But I'm going to quickly need to go. So remember, Chris is a dick and I'll knock him in a fight. But still, subscribe to us. Okay, so now that was a little uh, part where what happened with me and Kieran. Now there was... Anthony did say somebody recorded the fight, or not even the fight, it was a confrontation. The, it? Yeah, the confrontation. Like, yeah. And also, this is a bit of a clap of me and Anthony as well, which is kind of a rare thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we don't so, do it enough as we should. We don't do enough, yeah. But, um, so that happened, and then someone recorded, but we don't know who it is. So if, if anyone out there has the footage of, like, me and him and all of us, like, in Newport, like, you know, having that, Send it to us and we'll put it on a video when we get a chance. But he's been trying to find out. I I I don't even know who it is, so he's been trying to find out. So to put a quick little Josh wasn't as aggressive as you just saw then. He was a more docile because it was a different Josh. Yeah, I was the shy kind of Josh. And if it was if it was now, I wouldn't be like in like on the verge of crying and walking away. I would be up in Kieran's face like that. I would be up there because he it's the most little pussy boy. And also, right, he offered Anthony out to a boxing match and apparently he said he's going to beat the shit out of him. Now, if you want to know... It's MMA. Not even or boxing. MMA or boxing or whatever it is. But still, though, it is still kind of like a MMA. Ma it's a martial art. We're doing... A yeah. Oh. MMA, yeah. I, something you know, like that. But yeah, all I'm saying is, is that... This comes from, right, let me just interject a sec. Okay. This comes from a guy who, before that confrontation, kept saying he was going to kill me because I took his girl for, like, a few weeks, right? He didn't like that, he said he was going to kill me, but every time I walked past him, once after being in her house, walking past as he was heading there, he literally messaged me as I was leaving, saying, I'm going to kill you if I see you. He sees me, he puts his head down, walks to the other side of the road, and then in this confrontation with Josh, I just put my hand up between them, didn't even touch him, and he backed off, putting his head down, going behind his girlfriend. And also, so there was, um, it was Sam, it was Emily, it was Kieran, there was, who else was it? Lauren and Abby. Yeah, but Lauren and Abby, right, were not meant to be actually a part of that. We didn't really, I mean... We had team. no idea they were coming. We had no idea they were actually coming. I think they were just walking past and then they actually joined us. Um, but, like, here's the thing, Abby, she said a little bit of shit, like, you know. To him, not to me. She was cool with me. She wasn't cool with you, was she? Well, afterwards she was. I had oh. a great conversation with her after. Oh. She was really nice. Oh, get you. Okay, then. All right, so, well, but obviously not that. obviously not now because, you know, she's annoying. She's trying to always get back with him. 
But, you know, he has other standards that well, he wants. Well, no, we talk for a bit, and then she kind of stops and then starts up again, and it's... Like, starts, stops, and then... She I don't mind into, if she's trying to talk. She to goes you. into sicko mode, and then comes back out again. Josh doesn't help with that. He tends to rub her up the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not that way. Not that way. Not that way. Not that, that way. way. Not that way. <laughs> At least I hope not. <laughs> if anyone's but, doing that, that's me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, um...